One of my favorite writers is Matthew Mead. He was an independent Puritan divine and a popular Reformed preacher and a morning lecturer at Stepney Church in London in his day. We've published a number of great works by Mead, and this one is directed to the younger generation. It's called Remembering Your Creator. In this work, Mead sets down the sincere choosing of God, which should result in closing with Christ and being genuinely converted. His text is Ecclesiastes 12.1, Remember your Creator now in the days of your youth. He directed the sermons to the youth of the church, but they're no means only linked to them and will make older sinners blush as well as younger ones. He explains that the two great duties of the Christian life are to cease to do evil and learn to do well, and no man can be good that does not cease to be evil. In the words of the preacher from Ecclesiastes, he shows that this exhortation is to take up a very concerning duty, backed with a threefold argument. In the duty, it is first to remember, and secondly, to the object to be remembered, the Creator. And thirdly, the time when such must be done, which is now. This work is available right now at Puritan Publications. Go to www.puritanpublications.com for more information on this title in ebook and in print form. Sincere converts <clears throat> to the Christian faith should wisely improve this present life and carefully provide for the life to come, a better one at that time. The one that's truly faithful in one will in some measure be conscience in both, and both are pointed in Mead's text. The one that in the days of his youth remembers his creator as he ought, rightly improves the present life and wisely provides for that life to come. In doing so, he unites in his practice those duties that God has joined together in the precept, remember your creator now in the days of your youth. May the Lord bless you as you read and study along with Matthew Mead on this most important topic of remembering the Lord God, Jesus Christ, in the days of your youth.